Breaking news from SpaceX has sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry as President Gwen Shotwell makes an extraordinary announcement about Starship's future. In a groundbreaking revelation at the 31st Annual Barron Investment Conference, Shotwell unveiled plans that could revolutionize space travel as we know it. The stakes couldn't be higher. SpaceX is now valued at $210 billion, with projections reaching $250 billion. But what truly caught NASA's attention wasn't just the numbers. It was Shotwell's bold declaration about Starship's potential to transform humanity's relationship with space. Starship will be the thing that takes us over the top, Shotwell asserted confidently. We can't even envision what Starship's going to do for humanity. With plans for an unprecedented 400 launches in just four years, this isn't just another milestone. It's a complete paradigm shift in space exploration. The timing couldn't be more critical as Starship Flight 6 approaches its launch window. While some see this as just another test flight, Shotwell's latest announcements suggest something far more significant is unfolding at SpaceX. I'm your host at Elon Musk 24 Hours, and today we're going to unpack these remarkable developments that could reshape the future of space travel. Let's dive right in. First, let's address the immediate buzz around Starship Flight 6. On November 16th, SpaceX made a strategic decision to reschedule the launch to November 19th, with a 30-minute window opening at 4 p.m. Central Time. While some speculated about potential issues, Shotwell's confidence at the Barron Investment Conference tells a different story. This isn't just another delay. It's a calculated move to ensure perfection in what could be a pivotal moment in space history. But here's where things get really interesting. SpaceX isn't just testing rockets anymore. They're orchestrating a complete transformation of space travel. With over 100 successful Falcon launches this year alone, they've already left their competitors in the dust. The nearest U.S. competitor, Rocket Lab, has managed only 12 orbital launches, a stark contrast that highlights SpaceX's dominance. Behind this success stands a workforce of 15,000 dedicated professionals, backed by billions in government contracts from both DOD and NASA. SpaceX has become NASA's exclusive U.S. partner for crewed missions to the International Space Station. But that's just the beginning of this story. Remember Starlink? It's been quietly revolutionizing global connectivity while funding SpaceX's grander ambitions. With 4 million subscribers and counting, Starlink isn't just a side project. It's the financial backbone of SpaceX's future. According to recent reports from Quilty Analytics, Starlink is projected to generate $6.6 .6 billion in revenue and $600 million in free cash flow, even after accounting for satellite construction and launch costs. But here's the bombshell shot well dropped that has everyone talking. Starlink's success, impressive as it is, might be dwarfed by what's coming next. Starship will be the thing that takes us over the top, she declared. And when you understand what she means by that, it's hard not to get excited. Picture this, a fully reusable rocket with a payload capacity exceeding 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit. That's not just an incremental improvement, it's a paradigm shift. But the real game changer? Shotwell revealed something that hasn't been widely discussed before. Starship's potential to revolutionize satellite maintenance. For the first time in space history, we're looking at the possibility of retrieving satellites for repairs or upgrades. Think about what that means. No more writing off million-dollar satellites due to minor malfunctions. Instead, Starship could bring them back to Earth for repairs, fundamentally changing the economics of space operations. The implications are staggering. Insurance calculations for space operations? They'll need complete revision. Satellite design philosophy? It's about to undergo a radical shift prioritizing repairability alongside reliability. The space debris problem that's been worrying scientists for decades? Starship might finally offer a practical solution, but here's where Shotwell's vision gets even bolder. She's not just talking about technical capabilities, she's talking about democratizing space travel. What we're doing is allowing ordinary people to go to space, she emphasized, and she backed this up with numbers that seem almost impossible. 400 Starship launches in the next four years. To put that in perspective, that's more launches than SpaceX has achieved with their Falcon 9 program over its entire lifetime. Some might call this ambitious. Shotwell calls it inevitable. 
The transition plan she outlined is equally bold. Within six to eight years, both Falcon 9 and Dragon spacecraft could be retired. Why? Because as Shotwell puts it, Starship is bigger, more comfortable, and will be less expensive. It's not just an upgrade. It's a complete replacement of everything we know about space travel. The financial world is taking notice. Ron Barron, whose firm has already made seven times their initial investment in SpaceX since 2017, predicts they'll triple their money again in the next five years. By the 2030s, they're looking at potentially five times more growth. But perhaps the most fascinating aspect of this story is how Starship fits into a larger, interconnected vision of human expansion into space. The synergy between SpaceX's developments and other technological advances is creating unprecedented possibilities. Consider this. While SpaceX perfects Starship, advances in EV technology, robotics, and tunneling are simultaneously solving other pieces of the space colonization puzzle. It's not just about getting to space anymore. It's about staying there, living there, and eventually making Mars a second home for humanity. The challenges are significant. Mars's thin atmosphere makes landing large vehicles extraordinarily difficult. Radiation poses serious risks to human life. Sustainable power generation in an alien environment isn't trivial. But for the first time in human history, we're seeing concrete solutions to these problems being developed and tested. Shotwell's leadership style stands in stark contrast to the more publicized approaches we often see in the space industry. While others make headlines with grandiose promises, she focuses on delivering results. Her recent statements aren't just corporate speak. They're backed by SpaceX's track record of turning seemingly impossible goals into reality. The financial structure supporting all this is equally impressive. SpaceX's current valuation of $210 billion could soon reach $250 billion, according to recent reports. This isn't just speculative growth. It's based on real achievements and concrete plans for expansion. But perhaps most importantly, Shotwell addressed one of the industry's biggest challenges, regulation. Instead of complaining about regulatory hurdles, she offered a pragmatic perspective. We never complain about regulation, she stated. What we ask is to regulate industries, make them safe, make them right, and make them fair. But you've got to go faster. This brings us to the present moment with Starship Flight 6 on the horizon. While some might see this as just another test flight, Shotwell's recent revelations suggest it's much more. It's a stepping stone toward a future where space travel is as commonplace as air travel is today. The technical achievements are impressive enough. The successful in-flight ignition of the Raptor engine during previous flights, the advancing thermal protection systems, the increasingly precise control during descent phases, but what's truly revolutionary is how these individual advances are coming together to create something entirely new. Industry experts are particularly intrigued by what Shotwell didn't say. Reading between the lines of her recent statements, there are hints of even more ambitious plans in development, the rapid scaling of SpaceX's workforce, the expansion of their facilities and their increasing focus on Starship all point to something bigger than what's been publicly announced. As we look toward Flight 6 and beyond, one thing becomes clear. This isn't just about launching rockets anymore. It's about fundamentally changing humanity's relationship with space. Shotwell's vision, backed by SpaceX's proven track record, suggests we're on the cusp of something truly historic. Gwyn Shotwell's latest announcements mark a defining moment in space exploration. The path from SpaceX's current achievements to their vision of 400 Starship launches in four years may seem ambitious. But remember, this is the company that made reusable rockets a reality when others said it couldn't be done. With Starship's revolutionary satellite retrieval capabilities, a $250 billion valuation on the horizon, and a clear roadmap for phasing out the Falcon 9, we're witnessing more than just technological advancement. We're seeing the foundations being laid for humanity's next great leap into space. The message is clear. Under Shotwell's leadership, SpaceX isn't just pushing boundaries. They're redefining what's possible in space exploration. As we eagerly await Starship Flight 6, one thing becomes certain. The future of space travel is being written right now, and it's more exciting than anyone could have predicted. 
If you want to stay updated on these groundbreaking developments in space exploration, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours. Hit that like button if you found this information valuable and share it with someone who needs to know about these incredible advancements. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on Shotwell's vision for Starship. I'd love to hear your perspective on this revolutionary moment in space history. Until next time, this is Elon Musk 24 hours, keeping you informed about the future of space exploration. The success of Starship Flight 5 marked a historic milestone in spaceflight, opening new frontiers in our journey to the stars. But behind these groundbreaking achievements, SpaceX faces a complex challenge, navigating through regulatory hurdles that could slow down the pace of innovation. Recent developments have brought this issue into sharp focus. In California, SpaceX's plans to increase Falcon 9 launches hit regulatory roadblocks. Meanwhile, the FAA's approval process continues to be a point of heated debate in Washington. Now a powerful voice has entered the conversation. U.S. Senator Jerry Moran is taking a bold stance, pushing for faster launch approvals and increased transparency from the FAA. With NASA's Artemis program, depending on timely Starship launches and national security missions hanging in the balance, the stakes couldn't be higher. The outcome of this regulatory battle could reshape the future of American spaceflight. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the world of SpaceX and space exploration. Let's dive right in. On October 28th, during a critical Senate appropriations hearing, Senator Jerry Moran delivered a powerful message that resonated through the halls of Congress. His target? The FAA's launch approval process a system he claims is not just slow, but potentially threatening America's position in the space race. Behind the scenes, this public confrontation was preceded by months of mounting tension. Internal sources reveal that SpaceX engineers had been working around the clock, often sleeping at their desks to meet the FAA's ever-changing requirements. We're submitting thousands of pages of documentation for each launch, confided a senior SpaceX engineer, speaking on condition of anonymity. The level of detail required has become almost overwhelming. The frustration reached a boiling point during a closed-door meeting in September, where SpaceX executives presented data showing that their safety record far exceeded industry standards. The company's internal analysis demonstrated a 99.97% success rate across all Falcon 9 launches, a statistic that makes the increasing regulatory scrutiny particularly hard to swallow. The current pace of FAA approvals isn't just a bureaucratic inconvenience, Moran declared during the hearing. It's actively hampering our national objectives. Just days earlier, he had taken an even bolder step, sending a direct letter to FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker, demanding immediate reforms in transparency and execution speed. The timing couldn't be more crucial. SpaceX's Starship program stands at a pivotal moment after Flight 5's success. The company 